So the Lord can use us wherever we're at, whatever we're doing, but there's something about stepping out of our comfort zone, something about stepping out from the, the routine and saying, okay, Lord, here am I, use me. We're just excited. Yes, we're excited to see work projects get done and, and outreaches being conducted and everything. But I think more than anything that's done or how much gets done, it's great to see just people have fun, enjoy the Lord, enjoy serving Him, enjoy serving others, enjoy um, being blessed with great, you know, great meals and fellowship and all of these things. When we come down here and have the right heart and the right attitude, and we're willing to just be a blessing, it feels like heaven on earth. And not in the sense of like, oh, wealth or riches or anything like that, but just in the joy and the fellowship and the desire to pursue the Lord and encouraging one another. And for me, and I think all our kids that come, it's like a little glimpse of heaven, a way to just encourage them to be like, man, I want what Jesus wants. I want to follow Jesus because what Jesus has to offer is so much greater, so much more than what the world has to offer. But it looks like we can do that half. Yeah. To me, it's just like a little taste of heaven. How is it? How is it going to be like in heaven? And I think for the community around us that is that are not believers, we are an example of the fellowship of the saints. They are attracted to that togetherness and that closeness and that unity and that genuine love. And it's something that it's very appealing and attractive to the people around us. And as we're going on today to do more projects, to serve the community, that we're going to really need Jesus today. But we recognize that it's in our pride that tells us, I don't need to serve. That in our pride, it's like, I want to be in control. I want to do things my way. But it is in our humility that we get a taste of heaven when we're all willing to serve and follow Jesus and humble ourselves.